Good morning, Grace Church. Happy Wednesday. It's a new day, so it's time for a new devotion. I came to the back of the church because I was wanting to see if Dwayne's office was open because I thought it would be a funny little joke for me to record in Dwayne's office, but it is closed. He's not here, but I figured I could leave uh, this office that he uses uh, in the video. So, um, It'll be, it'll be fun if he watches this. We'll see if he actually makes a comment or something. But um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I have, uh, I felt like recently it's been, like there have been some really good days and some really difficult days and some days I feel like the Lord is really close and really near and other days it feels like he's so far away, which we, we know that he doesn't go anywhere. Um, he stays the same yesterday, today, and forever. And it's just us that... Um, makes it so that it seems or so that we feel like we're f closer or, or farther away but um today i just want to read a small passage from second timothy um something that i've just been encouraged with so i'm going to read second timothy 1 verses 3 to 14. Um, so this is Paul. He wrote this letter to Timothy. This is his second letter to Timothy. And he says this, I thank God whom I serve as I did, as did my ancestors with a clear conscience, as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. As I remember your tears, I long to see you that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother and your mother Eunice, and now, I am sure, dwells in you as well. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of hands, not during COVID. Um, for God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share in the suffering for the gospel and by the power of God, who saved us and called us to a holy calling, not because of our works, but because of his own purpose and grace, which he gave us in Christ Jesus before the ages began, and which now has been manifested through the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who abolished death and brought life and immorality to life. Sorry who brought life and immor immortality to light through the gospel, for which I was appointed a preacher and apostle and teacher, which, which is why I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know whom, whom I have believed, and I am convinced that he is able to guard until the day that until that day what has been entrusted to me. Follow the pattern of the sound words you have heard from me in faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. By the Holy Spirit who dwells within us, guard the good deposit entrusted to you. So I just thought that this passage was very interesting um, in for many reasons. I find that, I, I found it um, interesting that he says, like, I remember you and I long to see you and I, I pray that you may be filled with joy. I feel like this is a lot of what we are talking about even right now as a church. We always are, are like, I, I long to see our church family again. I get so excited when I'm like walking in a grocery store and even see someone wearing a mask and I'm wearing a mask and I can just say hi and it just feels almost like family whenever it, we are family, but it feels like, um, there's a special connection that um, our church family has, and I'm so grateful for that. But I do, I miss that, and I'm sure a lot of you guys miss the the connection that we have as a as a church. And I long to be together to worship together again um, in person. And um, so I just found that it was very interesting that he, uh, he says at the beginning in verse four, "I long to see you that I may be filled with joy." Like I, I just am so excited for that day that we can see each other and be filled with joy. Um, and I like that later he says, like, don't be ashamed of the gospel. Like this thing that we have, this gospel, this good news, this is the real deal. Like this isn't some like, oh, it's a good secret and like pass it along because it's good. Like this is a real, real deal. This is, um, what has saved us. This, this is the Christ who died on the cross for us. Like this is good news and this should change our lives. And, um, I love that in verse 14, he says, um, like guard the good deposit that's entrusted to you. I love that word entrusted, something that is given with a responsibility, but also like almost like a safekeeping. Um, and I just love that he he always uses words like I'm convinced that you um, that he'll be able to guard it. And um, uh, he says follow the pattern of sound words. 
and these words that were taught in faith and love. Like he he preached a gospel that wasn't just the good news that people wanted to hear, but it was the truth. Like it's sound words. He backs up his his message and he knows that he was sent with a purpose and from someone who gave purpose and had the authority to give that. And so I just thought that it was really encouraging that um, that word and trust in the idea of like guarding the good deposit and this gospel that we have um, and we know that we need to do something with. And so I, I pray and, and um, yeah, my prayer for us uh, as individuals, but also as, as members of the body of Christ of Grace Church, that we would um, be faithful stewards of this gift, of this gospel, this good news that we've been entrusted to. I pray that we would be able to um, bring hope to a hopeless situation. I pray that we would not be apathetic in what we're doing, not just live life out of routine. Um, I pray against um, a stagnant faith, and I just pray that we can still be growing, still be encouraged by one another, and still be um, loving the Lord um, even more so in this time when we're apart. And I know that this has been a challenging time. And like I said, some days are better than others and, and, and some weeks are better than others. And we're, this is now the 20th devotion that I have recorded. Um, and so I know that it's not easy. I know that this is something that has been dragging on and it's not always, um, exciting, but I do know that we, these sound words, like we know that we serve a faithful God. We know that he is good. We know that he um, loves us and that he always cares for us and that grace, his grace is sufficient for us. And so I pray that we would live in those words and live in those sound, um, yeah, those sound words and that we would be able to follow the pattern of those words and just live in that and just recognize that we have been entrusted with it, a good gift, and we have to be faithful stewards of that. So I hope that this comes as an encouragement and that you can um, just rest and reflect in this in this um, passage and, and just know that God is good and that he is faithful. And he was with Paul while Paul was in prison and he is with us while we are in this pandemic. And um, yeah, I just pray that we would be faithful people who worship him and who would be ready in and out of season to just serve him, whatever that looks like. So I hope you guys all have a fabulous day and a wonderful week. And I hope that you're encouraged. Have a great day, guys. Bye.